Hello friends, how are you? Have you missed me? It's been a little while since I've vlogged. I just wake up every day and go, it's like Groundhog Day, same day after same day, like boring. <laughs> Who wants to watch that? But I keep getting messages from you guys saying, we miss your vlogs and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I do have a couple things filmed since I posted last, little bits and pieces here and there that I will stick in here. And I also had a great experience from one of my viewers that had reached out to me, Malia, and she's starting this awesome new subscription box service for kids. And it's all about like helping them to tap into their personal power and to develop in any ways. So I'm gonna insert clips here because she sent a box for my granddaughters Freya and Vera and um, I will let you guys see that right now. Julia sent this. Okay, hang on. Let me in here. I have to get way down by my little beans. So Malia at Silverlight Mindfulness, Mindfulness Learning Journey sent us a package of her very first subscription box and there's something for Freya and Vera in here so thank you Malia and we are going to open it now and see what we think so let me get a picture of what it looks like when we open it okay okay hold on baby hold on whoa let mama read this and see what it says Okay, what do we got? We got shirts so, of stickers. So it looks like here's a sticker that says, Be Brave. And there are bracelets. It says, I am worthy. I am strong. And there's a marker. What do yours say? I am loved. And I am wonderful. Oh, I love those. And what's your sticker say? Is this a sticker or a tattoo? It's a tattoo, I think. I am enough. Self-healing. Oh, you must be able to color on your t-shirt, maybe. I think so. Yeah, so there's t-shirts for each of you, and you're probably going to get to color on them. So these are like cards. Say, confidence is my superpower. I am strong. I am supported. Yours yeah. are blank, huh? Okay, well, you can share VVs. Maybe you can color on your own, that's why. Mm -hmm. Oh, butterfly sticker. It says some notes. It just has little music notes, I think. I think I can read those music notes. Okay. What else do we have in here? La, 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 la. What do you got, V? La, 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 la. <gasps> There's blocks. Oh, these must be like dice or something. Grit, strong, joy, exhale, grow, breathe. You got crayons. Oh, that's cool, Frey. What do you got? Let's see what Freya has. It's a little thing that says what your feelings are, right? I am so stressed. What can I do? I'm happy. Yeah, let's see what this says. Calming strategies. I am so stressed. Hold on, let's look at this. What can I do? You can, hang on, I gotta get a hold of it. I can talk to someone. I can listen to music. I can squeeze a stress ball. I can imagine my favorite place. I can take three deep breaths. I can shrug my shoulders 10 times. That's a cute. I can hug Flying my stuffed animal. That has That's cool, huh? Music notes. So here's a book. Oh, it's pretty. Here's a book that says, Confidence is my superpower. And then there's two sets of stickers. How fun, you guys. Ooh. Hang on, it's tough to get out of here. Okay, so that's all for the box. So there's a binder in here. Oh, it has an act it's an activity book. Hang on, let's show. So it has coloring pages that says, I am a good person, I am safe, 
I am loved. This is awesome. And then it has all kinds of activity pages you can work through. Can we do that too? Well, you can certainly take this home and you're going to, you can do these at home and you can have mommy help you if you need it. What do you think, mama? Isn't that cool? It's amazing. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Say thank you, Malia. Thank you, thank Malia. You, Malia. Isn't that cool? That was so amazing. I think she did such a good job and it's, you know, it's a brand new business, so it's only going to continue to get better and better and better. And so my daughter went home and like did the activity books with them every day and whatnot, and she said it was fantastic. It was just amazing. Um, and she gave her a really good review. So if this is something that would interest you, um, I believe she said she was going to send me, I haven't got it yet, but she said she was going to give me a discount code for you guys. And so, um, I will put all the links in the description below, but um, I know that even if she doesn't get me the code before this video goes live, all you have to do is go to the website and mention in your order that you came from the wholeness shift and she will hook you up, but I'll see if I can get that for you. So what else is going on with you guys? What's new? You want to know what's new with me? Nothing. <laughs> Um, I am stuck at home most of the time because I don't have a car. I'm stuck at home anyways because I don't go anywhere. But we're going to blame it on not having a car because I gave up my car and I did get the notice. I got a letter in the mail yesterday from GM Financial saying this is just to confirm that your account is paid in full. So. Um, that part's nice. Not having a car isn't nice, but the selling the car and getting my account paid off, chef's kiss. And um, what else is new? I've been trying to do some intermittent fasting just to see how that would work for me. And so I, I don't do an extended period of time because I would not work well with that. I do like from, oh, it's 11-11. Look, 11, 11. Um, I do from 8 p.m. at night, I try to stop eating, and then I don't eat again until 10 in the morning. Although today, as you can see, it's 11, 11. And so I just came downstairs to make some breakfast because I was upstairs working and I'm, I'm just getting more and more irritated and every, everything I have to document and every patient, I'm just getting like, and I'm like, why? What is my attitude about? And I'm like, you're hangry. You are, you need to go find some food. So I'm like, oh yeah, I haven't eaten yet. So I don't feel hungry. And yet I feel very irritated. <laughs> so I need food. Um, so I just came down to get a glass of water and find something to eat. I think I'm gonna have Special K with red berries. Maybe the chocolate one. Maybe chocolate. Anyways, to be continued. <laughs> Are you ready to look at her cake? Here we Ooh, <laughs> it's so pretty with little hearts and sprinkles. Good job, Frey Frey. Thanks, and when I grow up, I think I'm going to do anything. You, I think you can do anything when you grow up. Anything you set your mind to, do you know that? I'm going to be a rocker and cook. There's nothing better in this life I can imagine than to be a rocker and a cook. You're special enough to do it. Good morning and happy Monday. It's Valentine's Day. I love every single one of you. Do you ever have TikToks come on with music that just makes you want to stop and dance? <laughs> Are you so excited? No. Yeah, now I am. Yeah, we about to eat. <laughs> we about to smash. So this is how the bags come here at the Red Crab. If your seafood boil is in the bag, 
so hot and then you open it and all the steam comes out all the juices and goodness I always get extra garlic noodles stuck in here too and they suck up all the, the spices and sauce so good so there's shrimp crab and lobster tail in this one and then corn and potatoes I'm just finishing up my lunch. I'm making some coffee so I can go back to work. And I forgot to meditate during lunch. I'm so frustrated. But anyways, I wanted to show you something. So have you guys seen any videos floating around YouTube on this? I've seen at least a half a dozen on this product. And so I decided to buy it. It's called The Mindfold. I've seen videos talking about The Mindfold. <clears throat> This is not sponsored I'm just curious and they talk about uh, it was on videos on ways to improve your clairvoyance and the concept is this you know how when a person loses their sight their other um, senses heighten and their intuition heightens that's the premise behind this so what this is is it's a blackout blindfold and then on the back it has um, spaces where your eyes fit so that you can wear this blindfold while keeping your eyes wide open and the theory is that you know when you meditate yes that helps your third eye to open and your clairvoyance to develop but if you okay so when your eyes are closed your brain is still getting the signal that like you're just resting or something you're meditating you're resting but if you have your eyes wide open and there's no light then your body thinks oh we don't we can't see we need to find other ways to see or it starts heightening your other senses and your intuition and your third eye begins to activate more Make sense? So anyways, I'll link to this below if you want to check it out too. I just got it and I just started working with it a few days ago. I did notice that when I first put it on, um, it seems pitch black. But after a little while, I can actually see through it. Just tiny, tiny little speckles of light. It's enough to distract me. So I'm going to find something, electrical tape or something to put over this to make it even darker. So... If you decide to try it, let me know what you think of it and what results you get. So it's now almost 5.30. I'm off of work. I had a horrible day. <laughs> it, you know what, it's, there was a short period of time where I was so upset. I was so upset that I had to have a serious talk with myself and remind myself that I can't quit my job <laughs> because I almost quit my job today. Like it was that bad. I called Fred and I'm like, please tell me I can't quit my job. Tell me I have bills to pay because it was that bad and it just kind of morphed into a all you can do is laugh like this is it's so ridiculous that all you can do is laugh about it because it's so bad <laughs> anyways I'm so glad to be done with work for the day I have a massive tension headache because I'm I've stressed myself out Archangel Raphael, can you please help me to feel better? <laughs> can you please help balance my energy, balance my chakras, clear my energy, like ground my energy, help my head to stop hurting? I would appreciate your help. <laughs> Despite it being mostly myself stressing myself out, like, please help me. Thank you. Anyways, on that happy note, <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee. I don't care if it's 5.30 in the evening. 
<laughs> I, I, I'm seeking comfort. Maybe I will have some tea. Maybe that's a better idea. So let's change the subject. Um, what did, what was my last video on? Oh, like what's blocking your manifestations? Is that it? What's your thing? Um, so yeah, I've gotten a lot of comments about that. A lot of messages about that. And, um, people saying, I didn't even think about this. And yeah, I have this thing, or I have that closet that needs cleaned, or I have all these things. And you definitely have to think about those things because even if it's not the thing that you are directly manifesting, you're wanting to get your vibes, your over, your general overall energy into a space of receiving mode, a space that is energetically in alignment with the thing that you're wanting to attract, you know, so that bing, it comes to you. And if you have anything in your life that you're dreading, that's gnawing on the back of your brain that you just keep procrastinating on, you just don't feel like dealing with it, whatever it may be, that creates this whole space of um, energetic resistance in your space. And that just leads to no good when it comes to uh, attracting the things that you want. So, you know what? I need to go pull my trash cans in and check the mail and I'm in a, I don't care if I'm in my pajamas or not, I'm walking out just like this mood. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. So I just went out, like I said, to take out the trash, no, to bring in the trash cans and to check the mail, and I found two feathers. <laughs> I found one right outside the front door and I found another one right by the trash cans. I've washed them down and they're drying right now so that I could keep them, but, um, you know, feathers, I like to see them as a symbol from the angels, kind of like angel numbers. If you find a feather, that's a sign from your angels or them telling you that we're with you or you're not alone. So the fact that I just asked them for help and to help me come out of this funk and to feel better and to open my heart more and I walk out and there's one laying right next to my front door and then I come over by the trash cans and there's one laying right where the trash can goes. I'm taking that as a sign that the universe is always having my back and that God is always with me and my angels are taking care of it. And they're helping me because I'm willing to help myself. And what I mean is that they can help you all that they want to, but unless you ask for the help or give them permission, they can't do very much. And if you're intent on staying in a crappy mood, there's only so much they can do. So yeah, meet them there and they will be there to help you however they can. Well, I had a couple of things that just put me in the best mood and completely broke me out of that toxic. You know, as humans, it's not our jobs to stay on the sunny side of the street all the time. It's not our jobs to always stay in the positive attitudes and positive um, emotions. It's your job as humans to experience that entire emotional body that we have as a human. It's our job to experience the whole range, the whole gamut of human emotion. It's our job to delve into shadow sometimes. The key isn't whether or not you avoid shadow. The key is how quickly do you return to the light? You know, it's going to ebb and flow. There's going to be high times, shadow times, high times, shadow times. Ascension and descension. The key is you don't want to go like shadow and then stay there for years and then be like, light shadow. <laughs> you wanna have, you wanna come back to the light fairly quickly. You wanna get back to that heart center. You wanna get back to the love. You wanna get back to the light. And so anyways, yeah, I had a pretty intense day, <laughs> but a little while ago, my friend Kathy had sent me a message and she's like, why did Maddie delete her video on Facebook so quick? And I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't see any video. And you know, Maddie, she's talking about my daughter, Anella. 
And so I went and I looked and I didn't see anything. I sent her a message and I said, did you post some kind of a video and then delete it? She does this often. She'll post something on her Facebook and then almost immediately she gets shy, she gets bashful, she gets stage fright, she gets full of anxiety that people aren't gonna like her and she immediately deletes things. And she's like, yeah, I took it down right away because anxiety and like I just thought people were gonna think I'm stupid. And I'm like, honey, you are not stupid. People love you. Go back to those videos you made with me and look at the comments. People love you. You did a great job. Please put the video back up. And so she did and I watched it and it just blessed my heart so much. <laughs> Proud mom moment. You know, you could tell she was nervous and you could tell she was anxious, but you know what, that's part of her charm. She did such a good job and she's so proud of her little book that she wrote and that she's published and um, I will link to that below if any of you are interested in checking it out on Amazon. But um, so anyways, I shared her video she just made. She's She's not doing a book reading and she's not doing anything formal. She's just sitting at her dining room table and having a conversation about part of her book where she's talking about maintaining your aura. And um, so I just shared that over on my The Wholeness Shift page on Facebook. If any of you are interested in checking it out, giving her a little bit of encouragement and showing some love. And um, so anyways, that just filled my heart. If you guys only knew the backstory and the struggles, particularly with she and I, we love each other, we're so much alike, there were just contracts that had to play out, I suppose, that's what Spomi tells me. I just. I love her, she's my child and I adore her and you guys can see how special she is. So anyways, to see this full circle moment of her blossoming into this beautiful woman, a wonderful mother, um, a wonderful daughter, just self-publishing her first little book and turning into a teacher and starting to poke her little head out of her turtle shell even a little bit. Yeah, it makes me want to do my happy mom dance, you know, just like, if you could see my feet, you know, they're, I'm dancing. My neighbors outside probably go looking in my windows like, what the heck is she doing over there? <laughs> Anyways, go Anella, go Anella, go Anella, go Anella. Hey, 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 hey. Go show her some love. I love you all. Until next time.